What's up YouTube, back again. Uh, today I'm on location. Uh, it's like actually a friend I went to high school with and uh, he's got a bald face hornet nest in his backyard. I, I guess one of the neighbor's kids got stung yesterday. It's a pretty low hanging nest in a apple tree. So uh, we're gonna try to redo the spray foam. I'm gonna hold the can upside down like all you guys said last time. I know I screwed that one up. So uh, we're gonna do it this time. We're not gonna use tape. We're just gonna stick that spray foam in right away and uh, then we'll get back, open her up, and see if we can do it better this time. So uh, stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, we got a hornet nest here in the tree. Uh, it's actually super low. It's probably about four feet off the ground. If that neighbor's kids got stung by them, we're going to uh, redo it. This time I got the big gap filler. So this is the more expanding version. We're gonna spray it upside down this time, like everyone suggested. And uh, we're, we're gonna get the stuff to actually work this time. So it's definitely working now. So we're gonna sneak up all covert. I'll kind of bring you guys in there with me on the camera. I'm gonna put it as close to them as I can, just so you guys get a good view. And uh, we're not gonna treat we're not going to do anything. I'm just going to approach it and I'm going to fill it with the spray foam this time. So hopefully it works quite well at stopping them. Of course after the cut the branch down and everything we will uh, use some delta dust in the area just for any that return to the location. Make sure we get rid of any of them. Make sure they don't go and start a new nest somewhere. So uh, we'll definitely dust the area afterwards but for now all we're gonna need here is me you and some spray foam so let's go in from the other side of this tree here so I'm looking for the entry point here and it's like right on the bottom on the other side. So, apparently, this is the way that we're gonna wanna go in. Yeah, you can see, well, right there's the hole. So, very little hole. It should be insanely easy to fill this one. So, let's get you guys up just a little bit kind of sucks like the angle and everything it's not gonna be the greatest for you seeing the foam get in but you can see the hole is like right here so I'm gonna sneak up and we're gonna just blast it in there so here goes nothing guys <laughs> <laughs> we instantly sealed it right there as you see I was trying to get out so we do have stragglers as we expected so I'm gonna blast a little dust inside of the nest itself and then we're gonna put some more spray foam in other areas let me uh, set you guys up a little higher so you can get a better view close up here yep. They're stinging me. Yeah, I know guys, your hole is blocked. I totally get the frustration here. Hold on, I think I can raise you up even higher. Um, one that's all covered in foams flying around there. Arr. So, we got you here. I'm gonna, uh, Zoom you back out a little bit and put my glove back on. And then uh, we're gonna start filling the crap out of this thing wherever we can. So, yeah, I know guys, you hate me. I would too. to get them out in there.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attack all you little guys. Don't bother me one bit. Alright, so we got a little bit of product up in there. We're gonna try to uh, see where else we can fill some of this guy with foam. Oh, it started exploding from the side on that one. This is definitely the right foam to use. So, as you can see, it hasn't really stopped them from getting out. Well, I don't really think any are getting out. I think this is just the ones returning home finally. But uh, as you can see, the hole is foaming pretty well. We are definitely getting swarmed like crazy. These guys don't like us at all, so who knows. But. It's kind of exciting just getting attacked sometimes, you know. I want to attack you guys for a moment before I cut it down. So I landed right on my face. Like, I don't think so, buddy. Okay, it's not your day. Got away. Got away. I tried my hardest there, guys. But so, uh, it looks to have worked real well. You can see the foam blasted out on this side. It's definitely pretty full in there. With foam. Try to uh, maybe squeeze a little bit more in. Let's see if we can. These dudes are spitting their venom on me and crap. Ooh, crap. Not from that edge, man. <laughs> The big gap filler seems to uh, do a heck of a lot more than the others were. Cut it here so it won't grab. I don't want to totally lose our nest here. Oh boy. Here's our nest. And we'll blast a little through one of these side holes here, I think. I actually got an apple on it too. It's kind of cool. Little apple tree. We have a ladybug down there. She's gonna get away. Na, 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 na. All right, so that was our nest. We got that one pretty good. Mm. They're really swarming me still. So we're gonna put a hole in the back here. As you can see, it's just blasting right through on this one. So uh, the big gap filler <laughs> was the one that's definitely going to fill the whole thing up. Um, I'll let all that extra excess come out here. As you can see, it actually bursted through. So uh, compared to the last video, that uh, great stuff big gap filler is the way to go if you're trying to fill up a hornet nest. I'm going to set her down. We'll go back here. World War Three for you. They're all over. See, now I can feel and smell the venom from these dudes. In my face, but uh, I kept my sunglasses on. Smartly, of course. But uh, they're really attacking the crap out of you right now. This is what I normally deal with every day. Everyone's always like, oh, no. Hornets aren't that bad. Like, man, imagine if you bumped into this tree, stirred them up, like, you, you, you'd be screwed. So, a lot of people have hurt feelings when I kill these dudes, but being in someone's backyard that has kids, there, there's no reason that you should be living with something like this. These guys are so freaking aggressive. It's just terrible. So, uh, again, got everyone. Got the nest out of here treat with some dust to make sure all these dudes die. I kind of basically will coat the branches in the area where it was and then when they return as you see hornets typically what they're gonna do is they're gonna leave the nest area they're gonna dive bomb and attack me try to sting me and then they're gonna fly back into the nest. You guys see here if you watch 
They, they continually fly at me and you. They're gonna attack my face. They smell the CO2 out of my breath. They're gonna continually dive bomb at my face throughout the whole removal. Afterwards, they're just gonna go directly back to where the nest was. They're super predictable. A lot of people are like, they're all getting away and they, they really don't. They don't go anywhere. They're gonna attack me and go right back every time. So they're super easy to treat. When you see a bunch of them leave during a removal, that's, that's just them attacking me while I do the removal, and uh, they're all going to get killed either way. I don't think anyone eats these apples, but just to be clear, Delta Dust is plant safe, so it's not going to harm anything if they clean them after it happens, so. So we're just going to go a little light on this whole area where the nest was. That way, when they return, they're going to land in the dust, they're going to help spread it to each other, and our problem's going to be gone. But uh, other than that, I'll probably stay for a little bit, swap some of these guys, kill as many of them as I can, just so there's not a swarm in the backyard. I mean, I typically... Other than that, it worked real good, and uh, we'll let it chill. We'll put you in the havoc for like a minute here. It's a pretty quick video, so I'll let you get attacked a little bit. Come back, go throw the nest in my uh, truck, come back with a little bit of spray, spray down some of these swarmers just to get rid of them, and then uh, call it a night. Uh, I'll go home, and uh, at the end of this video, like the last one, we will actually do a what's inside of it and see just how bad the uh, big gap expanding foam actually hurts like this. So, man, they are really attacking the crap out of you there. Spreading venom in my face too. I'm like, ah, oh, just non-stop assault from these dudes. That's why I kind of like them. Most people are terrified of doing the hornets and that this is why they are boldly aggressive out of the wasps. They're just going to continually dive bomb and attack you now. So they don't attack and leave. They just attack, go back to the nest, and then come back and attack more. So pretty easy to get rid of them. They're going to keep attacking me. I could sit here for an hour and clap and I could literally take them all out one at a time while they come to me. We're not going to do that. But Spray some of these dudes and uh, we'll move on. Be right back, guys. I'm spread you back a little bit. I'm gonna spray a few of these dudes. many left we got like five or six that are still doing their little dive bombing I'm gonna let them land in that product kill each other off and uh, we should be good Still, 
Okay, stir them up a little more. Get any remaining ones left. got to seal it you're gonna let them all out and we saw this one it was sealed instantly the uh, general video when you get them all swarming it's just the ones that are out foraging coming home seeing that nest is under attack and uh, they tend to attack you back not going anywhere little guy but uh, other than that it's pretty successful this time remember to like and subscribe passed up 25,000 views uh, I think last week so now we're on the road to try to hit 50,000 it's probably gonna take a couple years but we're gonna work with it together and uh, together we will reach our goals everyone but uh, stay tuned I'm gonna go back to my garage we're gonna cut this open when it dries we're gonna see how great the uh, great stuff big gap foam works out and uh, other than that you guys when I get back to the garage. Hey, what is up YouTube? Back again here with the uh, reveal. So, uh, long story short, we filled it with the uh, foam. This time I used the big gap expanding foam and as you can see, it really shot through everywhere in the nest. We actually had an apple on the nest from that removal. It was in an apple tree, which is kind of funny. beautiful wasp apple <laughs> but uh so uh last time everyone wanted me to use like a saw um, to cut it I brought a, a sawzall blade and I bought a big drywall knife over here so uh we'll cut this one open and see just what happened with the foam it kind of looked like I couldn't really put any more foam in it at the time the entry point was here and it was just gushing out poked a hole in the top I'm assuming over here it actually sounds like it's pretty full all around but uh what we'll, we'll see I'm just gonna pull the first layer or so out by hand just because this is easy to pull out it feels yeah I mean it feels like the whole entire nest on the inside is foam so I guess we'll just uh cut right into it much better reveal than the last time it actually filled everything you see some smushed dead hornets on the inside definitely uh did what we thought and smushed and killed everything inside as you see from the other end you can actually see part of the comb layers here and uh of course everything is just dead in there so uh this one worked out a hell of a lot better than the last one as you can see, we just had tons of foam that shot out the sides. There's just so, so much better with the quick expanding foam. And I know a lot of people ripped on me the last time. I was holding the can uh, right side up. And uh, you guys are 100% right. Thank you for your tips. Holding it upside down really made a hell of a difference. And uh, other than that, hope you guys enjoy this one. It seemed like this was just a lot better of a job than the time before. You see all the layers in there. You see them like sticking out in certain holes like they tried to hide and everybody died. So uh, as always, like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one.